Columbus, Ohio. A man armed with a pistol sits in a plastic lawn chair in the middle of an intersection. Suicidal over a breakup with his girlfriend, he makes two demands. He wanted to have a lawyer there to, to make his will out for him. He wanted to have his girlfriend uh, present so she could watch him be killed or kill himself. Officers will not honor these requests, but their options for bringing him in unharmed are limited. Surprising him was out of the question. There were such you know, huge areas that he was in the middle of that we couldn't get to him. Police negotiate with the suspect for two hours. They even give him a soda to try and gain his trust. But he continues to be irrational. Officers are left with only one hope for a peaceful resolution, disarming the suspect by shooting the pistol out of his hand. It was an extreme situation at that point, so it demanded an extreme solution. Three SWAT members, including sniper Mike Plum, target the small pistol from a hill 80 yards away. I knew that if where I struck the weapon, that it would turn the weapon out from his hand. It wouldn't do any damage to his hand, and he wouldn't be injured. Finally, the order is given. The first man with a clear shot is to fire. 501 uh, patrol, I, I've authorized the uh, officer to fire to shoot the weapon as possible. Command of force, stand by with the an apprehension. He just kind of looked at his hand and then he just kind of slumped back down like, well, no gun, what am I going to do now? <laughs> you know, game's over. It was. Unsure if the man has a second weapon, officers quickly place him in handcuffs. I said, uh, see, I said, we didn't want to hurt you. We wanted to get you out of here alive. And uh, he turned up and looked up at me and he said, that was a great shot. And uh, I said, yeah, it sure was. In an instant, the standoff is over, the gun cleanly broken into three pieces. But to make this incredible shot, Officer Plum relied on years of training and a special technique known as patterning. I just watched his habits of how he stood up and how he sat down and how he rested and the position of the gun that he held in a resting position. Once the man's patterns were memorized, the sniper was able to predict the exact position of the gun, allowing him to hit his target without jeopardizing the suspect. After the bullet hit the gun, it went between his legs and took a bite out of the uh, leg of the chair and went into a mound of dirt that was across the street and uh, obviously known as hurt. Today, the remains of the gun proudly hang in the Columbus, Ohio police station, a testament to Officer Plum's incredible shot. But to the sniper, it was the best ending to a bad situation. We resolved the situation successfully. He wasn't injured, and he's alive today. And who knows what contributions he may make.